me, you. Chip with shoe. And a whole lot mo. What do you think, Chip? What up? Better? Hair sprouts. Should be more like this. <laughs> I'll button it up. What you doing? I'm just looking. What hey, look like. at you. You're uh, using my brother's cup. Reset restoration. <laughs> Services call 1 888 3738. <laughs> Restoration.com. Hey, thanks for the cup, man. Yeah. All right, so here's what we got. Show before the show. Natalie, and just, that printed, Natalie just printed something off and was reading it, uh -huh. prepping herself, and was reading it like this for some reason. She got off the print and she's like, <laughs> walk, like, and I'm like, usually when I do that, it's because I print it off like two sheets of paper, the same thing, but I made changes on one of them. I'm like, okay, which one is the right one? And you can see, you know, if the words match up. Like, oh, <laughs> that's the one. No, I was doing that just to be weird, just to see your reaction. Which made me start taking my button off. <laughs> it made it feel. It made you feel uncomfortable. I feel free. So what do you have? I found out why your car hates you. Did you know that twelve percent of women never change their oil? Are you serious? Look! Oh my gosh! Well, no wonder you. Well, yeah. When did you change? A oil? study oh out gosh. of the UK found twelve percent of women never ever check their car's oil. Does that make you cringe, guys, or what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you would. Well. Who changes it then? They must have some dude in their life who's in charge of changing it. I don't know. Because no, no if you never change it, your car's dead, man. <laughs> it's not going to go anywhere. You know, this past time, I um, that was one of the problems that was wrong with my car is I waited so long. How long? I don't know. Like, long, too you, long. You're thinking like eight months? Yeah. Ten months? No. Twenty? Well, you're the cool ahead. thing about the car I have is that you can... I have! <laughs> Is you can go every fifteen miles. 15, every fifteen miles, you can have an oil change. That's the greatest thing. I usually wait, you know, four thousand, maybe five thousand miles. Fifteen thousand. Every fifteen miles, every two days, because you only live half a mile from work. That's really you probably go a couple weeks if you just went to work and back. Every every fifteen thousand miles. Was your car really? Yeah, that's pretty wow. good, huh? How long does it take you to put fifteen thousand? Um, it takes a good six months or longer. Yeah, because I could do a year and fifteen thousand on my car. Maybe it's not a year. Or maybe it's not 15,000. It's some outrageously crazy it's number. It's like a whole bunch. Yeah. Because I literally, um, even when, it, when I drive, drove uh, the 30 miles to work, I still didn't. And that's all I did because we had another car. I only put 15,000 on a year. Okay, then it can't be that high. Maybe that's it's awesome. seven grand. I don't know. I'm just throwing out numbers. I personally I... like the 15 miles. <laughs> all right, did you, see, did you see the answers to headlines over there when I passed it over? No, to... let's all play. Right, all right, I'm, we're going to do We have Cash and Carry's headlines today. Uh -huh. And your job is to figure out which headline. <laughs> which headlines are real? Which, which ones, ones are, are fake? Which ones are fake? So here okay. you go. Ready? Brooklyn. Did, you want me to read them all first? Um, I'll read them all first to you. Okay. And you can tell me what you think. Brooklyn detective. And see, this will help you out when it comes time for the uh, the deal here at seven fifteen. Brooklyn detective charged with snacking on candy gram evidence. Cambridge, Massachusetts considers soda ban in restaurants. Horror writer rolling out his new novel on toilet paper. I'm gonna go with B. Is it wrong? You're saying B is wrong. Cambridge, Massachusetts consider, considers soda ban in restaurants. You're saying that one is fake. Yes. You'll have to find out at 7.15 when we play. That's so stupid. Well, if you I say now, that. they're going to know the answer. Then at least why now, did we play it? it well, when you get a chance to go, hmm, I wonder what it could be. Maybe Google it. You know, I'm just trying to get some websites, some hits. <laughs> you know? Cool, man. It's nice of you. Yeah. It's like the uh, the Brooklyn the Police Department is going to be getting some hits. Why is everyone, like, Googling Brooklyn Police Department? <laughs> Oh, it's our detective who is snacking on the, the evidence. It's because of the by the show. Can you imagine that? You're like, hey, a little murder scene right here. I got some candy here. Just uh, you use your pen, right? And you're like, yeah, just uh, flip the top off of that right there. And, and you st stab a chocolate and eat it because you don't want to, like, disturb the evidence. You asking about that? Yeah. That's the, uh, the <laughs> womb chair. <laughs> it looks more like a fortune cookie chair. <laughs> It's like you crack it open, and all of a sudden, your luck guy that gets the uh, lucky lady it coming out. It looks like something else, and I'm not going to say anything. Thank Maybe you. Maybe giving birth. <laughs> like I said, it's the fortune cookie chair, and it looks like you just cracked open a lady, and she's coming out. No, it's the womb chair, so it's along the same lines. These are new in airports that uh, you can really buy it anywhere. But Excuse me. You, you, yeah, you get in, and you cuddle up kind of in the little fetal position, right? And then you can wrap the thing around you, so you can start out like this. Right, uh, right here, and then you could wrap it around you, you know, and you could just be in there where no one can get you. And as you're in there, I mean, you could get it all the way down to to this thing right down here. 
And the deal is, is that it's cozy and warm Wormy. and great for contemplating, awesome for snoozing. The womb chair. <laughs> that is so funny. So we'll talk about that today. How much is too. that? I don't know. I, I want one. We're going to have those airports. I know that. All right. <laughs> Maybe I have one in Nat's home. Wait. All right. You have to wait till you go 15 miles in your car. <laughs> Bye. Bye.